Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and today's topic is fandoms. You're probably wondering, Alyssa, what's a fandom? Well, I'm gonna tell you what a fandom is in this video, and the rules that you need to follow while you're in a fandom. You may or may not know this, but you are actually part of a fandom. Did you know that? I bet you didn't, because I think you, I just blew your mind. I just blew your mind. A fandom is when a bunch of people like the same thing and sometimes obsess over the same thing and it can be anything like it can be a person a band a singer a show a comic book a play a regular book a movie a superhero a tv character a cartoon character an anime character a manga character it basically a fandom could be anything as long as and maybe probably around one to two people obsess or really, really like it. But let's say you really like One Direction and you like their songs and you like bought the whole album on your iPod and you really like watching TV interviews with them and you really want to go to their concert and you're freaking out every time you hear the name One Direction. You are part of the One Direction fandom. Now, there's some things that you need to know about when you're in a fandom. You need to know basic rules. I'm gonna just tell you a few rules that I learned from Tumblr and from a lot of different things on YouTube and websites and things that influenced me to become part of fandoms. First thing that you gotta know about when you're a fandom is that you gotta support and debate and argue about your fandom if anybody says anything about it. Let's say someone says, I hate Adventure Time. Oh my god, I hate it. It's so annoying. Why do all these people like it? Why do people who are 18, 20, 30, why do they like it? It's a children's show on Cartoon Network. Why? Do people like it so much? If you were part of the Adventure Time fandom, you have to back that up. You have to say things like, it's pretty awesome, it's so funny and so random, how come you don't like it? You have to debate about it. You have to put effort and evidence into why you think that fandom is an awesome fandom to your perspective. Sometimes people in your own fandom will fight about your fandoms. Twilight, Team Edward, Team Jacob, they're in the same fandom, but they're talking about two different people. They're fighting about two different characters in the relationship. Second thing, back to what I said about relationships, is you need to have an OTP in your fandom. An OTP is a one true pairing. And this means that you have you think that these two characters, every time they appear on the screen, you flip out because you feel like they should be together. Kiss already! Even if the people aren't even close to being together, you have this feeling in the back of your mind that they need to be together, no matter what. Even if they're like enemies, they can be together. And your OTP does not have to be a boy and a girl. It can be a boy and a boy, or a girl and a girl. There's no, there's no boundaries here. There's, is that what it is? There's no boundaries to how you think that they should be together. Third rule, and the final rule I'm gonna talk about you can look up. <laughs> rule I'm talking about is rule 34. I'm not gonna go into any detail about it. Let's just say it ruined my childhood a lot. If you wanna know what rule 34 is, go Urban Dictionary or Google it because I am not going into any detail. And that's what I believe you should learn about if you wanna become part of a fandom. You're awesome, I'm awesome, and I make videos. Uh, I don't do them on Wednesdays a lot anymore, but <laughs> obviously, because it is not Wednesday. Please leave a comment below of what fandoms you're a part of. So I'll see you guys around. Uh, please continue liking my videos and stuff, watching and subscribe. And I'll see you guys. I keep saying around. I'll see you guys everywhere. Every day. You can watch my YouTube videos all the time. A lot of things are going on right now in my brain. What? <laughs>